Welcome to this video series in which I'm going to teach you how to advertise on Facebook. Facebook is probably one of the hottest traffic sources out there right now. There's 1.49 billion users. You can start for as little as $5 per day and the targeting is really good on Facebook because they have invested billions of dollars in their technology to basically get to know the consumer and they've got all kinds of data on their users. Okay, so in this video series, I'm gonna cover topics such as how to avoid getting suspended. Um, a lot of marketers uh, do get their accounts suspended on Facebook. Um, I'm also gonna teach you how to research your market on Facebook, and I'm also gonna show you how to create a Facebook ad using a free tool. And I'm also gonna um, let you watch over over my shoulder as I set up an ad campaign on Facebook. Facebook is one of the hottest traffic sources out there and therefore you do not want to get your Facebook account suspended. You hear all the time about marketers getting their accounts suspended. Uh, now I do not know all the reasons why people get their accounts suspended, but I do know of a couple of reasons, okay? And one of those reasons is where people make outlandish claims on their Facebook ads. For example, what your ad might say, how to make $10,000 in 10 days, okay? Um, now you're making a claim and you may want to be able to provide some hard proof, some documents, scientific papers that prove that you know that is a typical result um, but if I were you I would play it safe and not put in any specific number or outlandish claims in your ads okay so an alternative to that banner ad example um, which is how to make ten thousand dollars in ten days an alter alternative to that is you know how to earn an income or how to earn an online income in a few days or or even just a few weeks so in that case you're not really making any you're not really stating any specific number you're not really stating a specific income amount and a specific period of days okay so you want to play it safe when you make claims on your banner ads and another reason why is, well, you know, your website. Facebook will look at your website. If they don't think you're a legit business, uh, you may get your ad taken down and your account suspended. So make sure, you know, you have a website that's set up, that is set up for business, that you have legal pages, an about me page um, showing Facebook that, hey, you are a real business. Before you start advertising on Facebook, you want to know who you are advertising to. So for that, what you could do is use one of Facebook's amazing tools. Uh, what I'm looking at right now, I'm at um, my ad manager page on Facebook. And you just go to tools and go to audience insights. So you could get lots of information about your audience on this page here. And what you want to do is go to interests and type in your keywords or a public figure in the niche that you are marketing to. Um, so for this example, uh, let's say I am marketing to people who want to make money, who want to make money online or to people who want to start a business online. Um, so let's just choose just a general keyword here. I'm just going to go to business and industry and I'm just going to go to this right here. Just choose entrepreneurship. Okay, and so just looking at the data here, uh, for the gender, you can see that it is evenly split. It's 50% women, 50% men um, that you are targeting to. And you can see their age range here. Uh, 
the majority of the men that you are marketing to here on Facebook are going to be in the age range of 25 to 34, whereas for women, it's going to be in this age range right here, 35 to 44. But you can safely say that your the age range that you are that you're marketing to is between 25 and 54 years old. Okay, and you could also look at their lifestyle. Um, if you put your the mouse over the, the eye here, you can get more information. Uh, for example, here it says solo and stable are singles and homeowners who work in mainly white collar professional administrative and managerial jobs. Their education and income place them above average in the middle class. So you get an idea here that um, your market, the people you're marketing to, um, have white collar jobs, are homeowners, and are singles. Um, here, Metro Mix. It says here the middle incomes, urban tenants. Okay, um, so you could just keep going down relationship status, education level. Uh, you see that 61% have some college education and the job titles. You can see a lot of them are in management, production, okay. And you could also click on these other tabs here. Um, right now I'm just looking at demographics, but you can also go to the page likes and see what they have liked on Facebook. You can see the top categories here. Uh, you can see page likes. Okay, the most relevant pages that they have liked. You can see the most relevant one here is Brendan Bouchard. Um, so you could you know, target people who like Brendan Bouchard. Okay, now let's go to activity. You can see what um, activities they've done on Facebook. Um, you can see that ads click, it says right here, ads clicked 43. Um, let's just bring up that. It says selected audience, 43 people on Facebook. So um, compared to other people on Facebook, you can see in the, in the gray shade here, and then you look at uh, your audience, the, the people who are interested in business, you see that, you know, here in the blue, the blue color here, um, you know, there's a lot, there's a great proportion of them compared to the people, uh, other people on Facebook that click on ads. So you know that these people uh, do like to click on Facebook ads. And you can see that here again, they, they like posts, uh, they, they also a lot more of them had comments compared to uh, people outside of your target market. Okay, and you can see here device users. You see, twenty-five percent use Android, fifty-five percent mobile only, desktop. So you see that a lot of them, um, you know, actually like to use mobile devices. Uh, you can see, you know, a lot, a fewer, fewer of them actually use an actual computer than the majority of people on Facebook. Okay, you can also go to a household uh, to get an idea of what their income is. You see the majority of them are between 50 to 75,000. And again here you can see the majority of them are homeowners. As for the household size, the number of adults and children who live in a single US home you can see that the majority of them are singles. There's just one person that lives in the home. And you can also see their, see their spending methods. And you can also go here and see their purchases. All right, so let's go ahead and create our Facebook ad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to how to create one using a free tool. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and look for an image that we can use for this example. And just to stay consistent, let's uh, use one for the business niche or people that want to start an online business. So I'm just gonna type in business.
Okay, let's just use this one for this example here. Okay, and now what you want to do um, is use the free tool, and that free tool is canva.com. And you could get a free account or a paid account with them. And uh, I currently have a free account, I don't use their paid accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an ad here. And I'm just going to upload the image that I just downloaded. Okay, and make sure that it covers the entire white canvas here. So let's go ahead and Okay, and when you're done, you just go to download, image for web, and there you go. When you click on create ad, this is the page that you were brought to, and you have a few options here to choose from. Now what I recommend you do is to choose this one right here, increase conversions on your website uh, because Facebook uh, will use their million or billion dollar technology um, and try their best to increase the conversions on your website. Um, so what I recommend is you do this one right here and then you would just choose a URL to promote. For here you could choose a conversion pixel, uh, it's very easy to create but uh, for this one let's just go ahead and do this just for this example. Okay, So uh, this is an example so it's not going to be perfect, I'm just going to quickly go through it so you can see how easy it is to set up an ad here on Facebook. Okay so who do you want your ads to reach? age so if you remember from the audience insights um, the age range of the group was between 25 I believe and 54 okay so that's why looking at that data is helpful you know um, a little bit more about your audience here and it's going to be both men and women because if you remember it was 50% men and 50% women that were interested in starting a business online. Okay, a language. I'm just going to choose English. And for this example, I'm just going to choose entrepreneurship, interests. Okay, and for the budget, uh, you can start for as low as $5 per day. Let's just do that.
Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and upload the banner ad that we created. Okay, so what we have here, we have two images. Um, the first one that I uploaded was actually by error. So this is the red one right here. And so let's go down. This is what it would look like. This is what the first image is. But for this example, let's just use this one right here. And another thing you'd want to do is you want to remove this one right here, mobile and news feed. Uh, when you're starting out, you know, you don't want to use that and same with the desktop right column. Okay. Uh, maybe later on, you know, when you get more experience or you want to scale, uh, you may want to use those. But for now, I recommend that you do not use those. Okay. Uh, now next, let's uh, add in the text around the ad here. Headline. Start the business. Call to action button. It could just be. Uh, download okay so as you can see the text that I put in here is comes right before the ad and right here, start a business, that is the headline. Okay, and once you're done, you just click here, place order.